Hello students, I have already provided AV on the Geography Chapter 1 resources so that you could have a rough idea on the chapter. Today, let me give an explanation on this particular chapter resources. This chapter concentrate on various resources. Just look around yourself. You will find many resources like what do you drink when you are trusty is resource. The textbook you use to read are all resources. Anything that can be used to satisfy a human need is a resource. Utility or usability is what makes an object or substance a resource. Next, how does something becomes a resource? So, Things become resource only when they have a value. Its use or utility gives it a value. So, all resources ha have some value. So, now what do you mean by value? Value means worth. Some resources have economic value and some do not. If it is useful to a country's economy, then it, it has economic value. For example, metals like aluminium, iron, all those have economic value. Because you don't get it for free. And this metal help us to build bridges, car and buildings etc. And whereas a beautiful landscape may not have economic value, but both are important and satisfy human need. Now, let us look at types of resources. Resources are classified into natural resources, human-made and human resources. So, natural resources are classified into different groups depending upon their level of development and use, origin, stock and distribution. So, on the basis of development and use, natural resources can be classified into two groups that is actual resources, actual resources and potential resources. So, what is actual resources? Actual resources are those resources whose quantity is known and used in present. For example, the rich deposits of coal in rural region of Germany and petroleum in the West Asia. Now, let us look what is potential resources. So, potential resources are those resources whose entire quantity is not known and these are not being used at present and could be used in future. So, one of the reasons for this is or maybe, or maybe we don't have that advanced technology to use these resources in full-fledged. For example, the uranium found in Ladakh region. Now next, based on the on the origin, resources can be a abiotic or biotic. So, abiotic resources are non-living things. Example, soil, rocks and minerals. Whereas, biotic resources are living things. For example, plants. Again, Natural resources can be categorized into renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are those resources uh, which get renewed or replenished quickly. Here, renewed means here renewed means start doing something again after an interruption. Example of renewable resources are solar, wind, etc. Yet, careless use of certain renewable resources like water, soil and forests can affect their stock. Now, next, what is non-renewable resources? So, 
non-renewable resources are those resources which have limited stock. Once stocks are exhausted, it may take thousands of years to be renewed. So, example of non-renewable resources are coal, petroleum, etc. So, next, on the basis of their distribution, resources can be ubiquitous or localized. The resources that are found everywhere, the resources that are found everywhere like air we breathe are ubiquitous resources. But those which are found only in certain places are localized. So, example of localized resources are copper and iron ore. So, one should keep in mind that the distribution of natural resources depends upon number of physical factors like terrain, climate and altitude. So, students, I hope today you got a basic idea of the topics covered. In my next class, I'll start human-made human -made resources of this particular chapter. So, here I conclude. Thank you.